Any more kids? Fun people to play with? Okay. Oh, we still got money over here too. Here, I'll put it in for you. Thank you. Anybody else have money they're holding on to? Oh, yeah, I see some more. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start the story here. It's a short one, but I think it's a good one. You have had the pleasure of growing up hearing about Jesus, that he died for you and he rose from the dead. But there are a lot of people all over the world who have not yet heard about Jesus. Did you know that? And if you're, and if you're a member of a tribe somewhere that has not yet heard about Jesus, chances are you've grown up believing some pretty strange things. Well, not too many years ago, a group of missionaries went down to some tribes in Brazil that had not heard about Jesus yet, and they wanted to tell them the good news of what Jesus had done for them. And the way they did that is they brought medicine and doctors down to these tribes in Brazil, and they built a hospital. And then they went traveling around, and they would get people to come to the hospital and heal them of their diseases. And while they were there they would tell them about somebody who could heal them from the biggest disease, and that was Jesus. Well, two of those missionaries were walking through the jungle, and they came to a group of villages, and they noticed immediately that something was wrong in these villages. It wasn't the, the, the look of people going around working and doing all the things that people did in usual villages. People were sick. There was a disease in this village that was moving from one person to another person, and it seemed like people were dying in these villages every single day. And so the missionaries said, we have a hospital, and the hospital is not very far away. If you follow us, we'll take you to the hospital, and you can bring your sick people, and we will heal you of your diseases, and we'll share with you some very good news. Well, the village people were very excited about this, and so they got up, they picked up their sick people, and everybody who could walked behind these two missionaries until they came to a small river. And the missionaries said, across this river, not very far, is the hospital. And everybody in the village, their face turned sour. They got a frown on their face. And the, the missionary said, come with us. And they said, we won't go. Well, why won't you go with us? You've come this far. And they said, there are evil spirits that live in that river. We know about it. And if you go into that river, you will die. There's death inside that river. And anybody who goes in there will not come out alive. And the missionary said, well, we, we used to be on the other side of that river, and we crossed over this river before. Well, everybody in the village, they crossed their arms like this, and they shook their heads, and they were unimpressed. And so the missionary, one of the missionaries, he went down, and he dipped his hands into the water, and he wrapped his hands around, and he said, look, I'm fine. The water hasn't done anything to me. And all the village people, do you know what they did? They crossed their arms, and they shook their heads, and they were not impressed. And so the missionary, he walked out into the water up to his knees. And he reached down and he started splashing water on his face and over his head. And he said, look, I'm fine. The river hasn't hurt me. And do you know what the village people did? They crossed their arms. They shook their heads. They were not impressed by that. They were not going into that river. And so the missionary, you know what he did next? He was out there about knee deep. He went out a little farther, and he dove into the water and disappeared. And everybody on the banks, all the villagers, their mouths dropped open like this. And they thought, he's gone. The river took him. The evil spirits have killed the missionary. And then, all of a sudden, they saw something coming up on the other side of the river. What do you think it was? It was the missionary. He came up on the other side of the river, and he took the water out of his head, and he he waved his fist and he said, the river can't hurt you. I have conquered it. Or is that Jesus has conquered it, actually. And the people on the, on the village, uh, they got excited. And all of them said, the river can't hurt us. Somebody has gone down into the river. And they've come up on the other side. Death can't hurt them anymore. And so do you know what they did? All of them went into the river, and it wasn't very deep, and they walked across, and they followed the missionaries to the hospital so they could be healed. And you know what? That's a lot like what Jesus did for us, isn't he? Isn't it? He went down into the river of death, and they laid him in a tomb, and people thought he would never come back up. But did Jesus come out on the other side? 
He did. And we can follow him. And do you know how we do that? One way is a lot like what that missionary did. He went down into the water and he came back up. When you get older, you'll have the chance to do exactly what he did, and that's called being baptized. That's where we celebrate and we say, I believe that Jesus died for me and that he rose for my sins. So I hope that as you grow up, you can continue to believe in the power of Jesus and all that he's done for you.